<laughs> I like that one. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're running back to the um, the first days that they had them the last save on PS2. And, yep, they're going to start with Auto Reticle again. As they should. Auto Reticle is particularly quick, and the fact that it's going to be able to target damn near anything, including projectiles, gives it time to clank with whatever uh, Yellow Team is going to throw out. And I mentioned this in the last set, I really believe that um, the Phantoms could be able to make the situation into a 3v2. Cause just because um, Phantom covers so much ground, it's great for less trapping for the, um, the other teammates where they could do something else. It's really good. Additionally, on a stage that has limited real estate like Stadium, like Phantom, the fact that it'll body block a lot of things and the win box for when it's cast out will help with the battle for stage control, which is going to be really important for both teams because they want to guarantee that their uh, their um, their Palo Tennis have safe landing space. Definitely. Back throw on Ace. Go the longest Yo, of charges. Ho he's holding that. That smash on the list kind of nice for Robin. Definitely. Co covers a lot, and with Levin Storm, it's kind of spicy. Yeah, the only thing that could like really stop it if they're trying to cover every option, regular get up and uh, roll and, and get up attack, is get up attack. Ooh, if you have enough range. Who has he? Yeah, Ray has Yeah, there's Ray. He dipped a bit too low while trying to play at the ledge with Ace because of that. Red team having a pretty definitive lead, especially as they managed to knock. She uh, got a That's what I'm telling Yo, I don't know what's loaded into those boots. Those open toe boots I that Zelda's that. packing, but like, gotta watch out for them. Mm -hmm. Like, you come to this battle expecting projectile hell, but it's the close range normals that'll really manage to edge out both teams, I feel, between the 11 aerials and more specifically back air from Palu than anything else. The scramble can be pretty explosive. All right, thanks to Phantom, Purity was able to go in aggressive because Phantom's covering the, um, the left side of the stage, and now they have a stage advantage. Oh! Great combo. Daring stocks? Yes. Of course. You never want to be in the 2v1 situation if you can help it. Unless, like, you're sandbagging or you're ultra confident <laughs> and, like, the other team's already halfway, you know, foot in the grave. Like, you always want to make sure that you've got someone to back you up. Ah! Single hit jab into something. You re really play with my heartstrings for this one. We don't see a lot of that in it. Nope, definitely not. I mean, mostly because it's not true. But yep. <laughs> but it will always be a good mix-up if you can get that going. All right, now space under arc fire correctly to get the um, the ledge trap. Back throw, not taking it yet. What's the pick? Yeah, What's so the pick? So far, Ray has to play very carefully. Dirty's done a great job of locking him down at the ledge. Meanwhile, Dolce handling herself really well against Ace. Going to knock him down to last stop. Very good um, punish on the spot dodge. All right, good retreat from um, Ray. Not willing to um, try to punish that out of shield because uh, Purity can cover that. You know, amongst the chaos, just want to bring up uh, the point real quick. Purity, pretty healthy on their second stock. So, Red Team's in pretty good position right now, especially as they knock down a... Uh, all right. Game one looking pretty confidently into Red Team's favor. Oh! No gimp yet. Had a jump. I think, I think he wanted to go for an air, but I'll believe in that back air. Okay, let's cancel the fair. Very good. All right, so... Oh, they smiling it away. Yeah, they got every reason to. They played that really well. Yeah, it was very convincing, especially when uh, Miltree had to take the stock and was not able to hold it down completely. Hoping to make it even, but right now uh, PRD and Ace are turning on, on tournament stock, um, tournament game. That's right. Yep, no switches from here. I can only imagine the chaos that would ensue if Ray picked into his banjo. I definitely don't want to <laughs> go down boom. that route. On FD though, I don't know. Maybe the banjo would be a good pick, but nonetheless, this, I feel like. Fits a bit better to the presence of Robin, but also Ray's style of uh, Palu, more specifically over uh, Purities. I really like the roll from Ray at one, and he was seeing Purity towards that up smash because that was going to break his shield. Now, FD right here, it's pretty claustrophobic for doubles. Definitely. Especially considering like the wide amount of space that all these characters cover. Like, you saw that Phantom, it was literally not in the center stage. It's just a little more on the right, but it was able to cover the entirety of the left. Like, coupled in with the lack of real estate that's on Final Destination, the fact that how important landing space is and how well all of these characters can juggle, 
Any bout for stage control is a really big swing. Like, Red Team has done a great job of committing to holding, like, a solid half of the stage, whether it be the left half or the right half. And because of that, they're edging out their kills really well. Kill piece for piece on Yellow Team's side. That was a very clean, clean, clean up. Oh, all right. Okay. You got it. A smash. Not going to combo with it, just missing that fair. I especially like how Red Team fell into formation there while still keeping presence. Retreating Phantom and retreating Explosive Flame were great for reestablishing that Purity wanted to keep the front line, and Ace was just going to chill and let its projectiles do the talking. Yep. It's also good for checking their aggression also. Because, like, okay, Phantom is coming. I can punish them at that time, but Explosive Flame is right there. Now you can't really punish. Back air? Ooh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, a bit messy, but exactly what Yellow Team needed to bring themselves back into the mix, especially as both members are kind of bleeding right now. And, and they're still hanging on to the ropes. No get up. A little late on the get up attack. Could have prevented um, Ray from being in the disadvantage, but he's going to be able to land back safely. And get that back throw. You see, that, that's Damn, a upstairs really just does yeah, the work, it man. It does everything, man. And that was a very sticky situation because they were both on the same side on offstage. Ray had to get up immediately if he if he didn't want it to like get um, less trump by milk. Like be it a happy accident or well executed, Red Team's done a very good job of making sure that Yellow Team doesn't have space to peel into separate one v ones, and when they're in disadvantage, it's the same side, so they can afford to throw out their chunky moves and just let it scoop both. And as you can see, that um, Ace is just chilling back. Yeah, it's only when, like, they have total stage control and Ace has the right of way to just throw out moves ignorantly do you see an approach. But that's perfectly fine. It's fitting well to Zelda's kit. Right now, we're not looking to have a Cinderella story of a comeback to, of a bracket reset. This not is really story. looking like Red Team's game right now. All right, Milchie's out of it. The counter is actually going to beat that up smash. Yeah, but they... All right, so that leaves Purity on his last stock, but Ace is still pretty healthy. It's looking like a done deal. And it reflects? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Yo, the double reflect, too? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I forward it to putting Bray back in the same position. Oh, What's and that's all from Purity? All right. He's, he's Red feeling Team let him know that they They're won. They're both feeling it now. Dash attack, yep. definitely got to take it. And that's a 2-0 for uh, Purity and Ace Attorney. All right, it's all good in games, man. And that's going to conclude Xeno, Arcadian doubles. All right. And that means that Purity and Ace can no longer team for dubs at a uh, Arcadian. Band. Done.